Beloved ones, greetings and welcome. We open upon this day. You have come to this point to serve as an anchor for this 12th dimensional consciousness. Yes, each of you hold a petal, yet you anchor the full flower of light on earth as it is in the 12th dimension. One of the reasons why we work so intensely with the 12th dimension at this time specifically is because there is the point where the energies meet, where the masters communicate and transmit consciousness to humanity. The concentration of energy is the highest it has ever been in Earth's history, even, not even as high as, as in Atlantis. That in itself demonstrates the faith the masters have in the light workers to transmute the darkness of the old world and serve as anchors of the flowers of light for the new world. Beloved ones, it is also this day that 12th dimensional consciousness is absorbed into the crown chakra, feeding your personal flower of light with energy, encoding it into the 12th divine principle of God Goddess consciousness and in so doing shattering the 12 levels of the old paradigm matrix related to the abuse of power specifically. Each of you will be guided to places within England as well as a place you are located geographically and the energy you receive today becomes like an antenna to receive the transmissions of the higher quotients of light emitted through the 12th dimension for the purpose of shattering the old matrix, the abuse of power and empowering the souls of humans to stand in the light and to embrace their truth and emit the divinity within so as to create the templates of Christ Christ consciousness resulting in a powerful wave of spiritual illumination brought into being through the planetary ninth dimensional initiation through the crown chakra for your world today. I, Lord Kathumi, stand as the central and missionary of the petals, making up the flower of light. This is held by my divine brothers of the Great White Brotherhood. Standing to my left is Lady Guinevere, and standing to my right is Lord Merlin. And it is in this group energy we create. Anchored through each of you present here today, who will carry this energy forth. It is upon this day that we anchor this energy of, of the Mystery Schools of Camelot and you will be guided by Lord Merlin and Lady Guinevere and my energy Kathumi who walk to Saint Sir Lancelot to bring the light of life existing within the light of creativity to inspire you to continue upon your journey you have chosen. I shall now make way for Lady Guinevere to present her teaching upon this day. To bring forth the transmissions of the Goddess Energy. She will take you through the 12th dimension and into the Mystery School of Camelot. Please begin by breathing very deeply in through your nose exhaling out through your mouth, opening up your consciousness to welcome her as I bid you farewell for now and make way for her presence. Adorno, beloved ones, I am Guinevere, Lady of Camelot. 
Greetings and welcome to you today. It is an honor to be present with you in this place today, for we are welcoming many levels of consciousness that you as lightworkers have allowed in coming into being. We say allowed because it is through your personal choice that such energies have been made possible to be shared with other workers of light. There was a time when there were not enough workers of the light active in their consciousness to hold the templates the great masters of light had prepared for humanity's ascension process. I, Guinevere, with the assistance of Lord Merlin and that of Lord Lancelot, Lord Arthur, Lord Arthur, Lord Galahad, create the flower of life template and anchor it within your crown chakra with your permission. This will continue the process of shifting consciousness on a cellular level, ensuring that you as a light worker continue to respond to the gifts of life, enduring and ending pain and suffering, and the belief that suffering is the only way to earn one's rightful place within the realms of the great ones of light. The time has come, dear ones, for those of the highest awareness to let go of the beliefs that suffering, limitation and pain is the only way to lead the self to believe that one deserves reward. Many times you have heard individuals say, no gain, no pain, or no pain, no gain. <laughs> that is truly an old paradigm way of experiencing and addressing life. Beloved ones, the 12 petals of the flower of light anchors the divine consciousness of the God and the Goddess self within you. And I, Lady Guinevere, take you through your 12, 12th dimensional initiation into the full understanding of the 12 principles of light and life. A few days ago, Lord Kathumi performed a process removing the plug in cervical one, leading to the inhibited flow of energy from the higher realms into earthly consciousness. He will continue performing this work with Lord Merlin, who used the star hydrogen to remove the plug, allowing the greater consciousness to move into the aware aspect of the human self. This is for those who did not experience this. Lord Merlin will perform the same process upon you today, removing the plug placed there by beings of a denser consciousness. Many thousands of years ago, this interfered with the genetic structure of the human self. When this plug was removed, the structure of the cells changed and emitting the sound of light, the star's tetrahedron creates itself within the core of every cell. The five-pointed star is held within the center of the star's tetrahedron and the twelve-pointed holds the three-dimensional six-pointed star and the three-dimensional five-pointed star. When you focus your attention on your crown chakra and imagine a crystal flower of light opening to a great, really, really, really great, and then greet the heavens. And in the center of the flower is a 12 pointed star. Imagine this taking on a three dimensional form. It's energy rotating within the core of your crown. And this rotation activates the 
divine code of the God Goddess and bring your healing consciousness into perfect alignment with that of the Universal Mother and Universal Father. The levels are created with perfect harmony and balance. Therefore, each of you present here to today will come to experience this energy through the reading of these words or hearing through each other. We'll undergo the activation of having the complete 12 level initiation to take one into full God Goddess consciousness within the realms of the 12th dimension specifically. There are six feminine and six masculine. Each is a direct reflection of one another. Therefore, the initiation entails that the God aspect and the Goddess aspect must master each level of the initiation so as to take the full power into your hands speak of the earth is okay the flower of light represents an aspect of the divine god and the divine goddess so the crown chakra is your gateway to the higher dimensions drawing energy from the lower chakra is vital that your lower lower chakras and your higher chakras always be opened in a balanced fashion spinning perfectly and aligned divinely and gracefully with the higher consciousness of the emissaries of all that exists within light and love your lower chakras anchor you on earth and your higher chakras of the upper chakras anchor you to the heavens. You have chosen a physical incarnation for a very specific purpose. Therefore, it is vital that you remain grounded in your physical body as much as you remain connected to the higher worlds. Many lightworkers find it very difficult to maintain earthly life because they've forgotten the importance of remaining anchored in their physical body. Many believe it's important to focus mainly on the upper chakras, then neglect the lower chakras. And your lower chakras are as important as your sacred upper chakras are. Earthly living is as sacred as your every initiate have the understanding of balance. With the 12 dimensional initiation into the mystery schools of Camelot require that every initiate must have this understanding of balance between heaven and earth. Perfect balance between God and Goddess, therefore every initiate you over undergo will be a twofold process like six levels altogether completing the 12 levels of divine consciousness yes you will address each initiation from the perspective of your goddess self as well as the perspective of your god self for every perspective will be taken into the realm of light where your soul will show you different aspects of the perspective you have addressed initially. The first level of divine consciousness of the 12 levels we speak of is that you understand how important it is to be grounded on earth and connected to the heavens. This facilitates the full anchoring of your place on heaven, on, of heaven, on earth. Okay. And 
then the second level is, is that of mastering emotional intelligence, understanding the purpose of emotions through the God and God Self. In fact, it is a masterful task. Mastering emotional intelligence will open many levels of self-awareness, vital to the full anchoring of the floral, the flower of light within the crown chakra in its whole and complete state, as well as anchoring it in with every other chakra related to your physical body. And the third is mastering the ego's influence. This is always a goodie for everyone through the mental state therefore belief systems and attitudes come under scrutiny those protected by your masculine self or your female self this addresses all of the belief systems and the mental attitudes okay by the men and the women in your life parents siblings teachers relatives other people, you, you know, best friends can be this way. But all of a sudden change and, you know, it's just like, well, are you going to if you stay there? It's like you can't let your ego choose. Okay. So the aspect of mastering the mind, so to speak, is vital for the upliftment of your energy beyond the paradigm of control. A set in place by the very small minority currently governing, controlling humanity's consciousness. Yes. So now, it's just being pure in thought, pure in action, and this is the fourth, this is the fourth step for each of you, be your beloved ones, is surrendering in totally to your inner child, divine consciousness. Because your inner child is your core stabilizer. This means becoming like the child, innocent. As I said, pure in thought, pure in response, in action, which leads you to the higher realms of receiving energy and transmitting energy does not mean that your thoughts or actions or your deeds is an adult uh, are not pure. they're not pure all it means is connecting with the inner sensibility to respond to the joy of life is what is required through the god self through the goddess self the spontaneous response to life being in the moment is what the inner child represents in this particular realm of consciousness. We choose to focus on with each of you. And now, the fifth aspect is the initiation of conception. This means that you are taken through the journey of connecting with your dreams, your wishes, your visions, and the greater purpose of your plan on earth as it is in heaven. Many people have denied their dreams and their wishes just because fear grips their heart and their belief in self. So little they do not feel the pulsations of life inspiring them to entertain their dreams. For even a moment in time, your God and God yourself take you back into the realms of the higher light, reminding you of the divine purpose of being on earth and bringing your peace back to your heart of each human on earth by leading just leave, leading, not leaving, <laughs> yes, leading peacefully, it's all. Now, and 
that peacefully. And that, beloved ones, takes you to the final process, the final initiation of the 12th level of the divine consciousness of the God Goddess, and that is the mag manifestation of peace within self. Peace does not necessarily mean that one will not continue to grow and become more self-aware. This is referring to the inner self of peace present, regardless of the external environment presentation to the self, living within a constant state of peace manifests the true simplicity of life on earth as it is in heaven. Each of you has the full potential to anchor these initiations divinely through your serve as a, your God self and through your Goddess self and in mastering it with completing these initiations. You serve as a divine ascended master, assisting those who have chosen to awaken from the slumber of the old world, and you will accompany them into the golden consciousness of the new world. Just take a moment to focus on how your body is taking on air and breathe it into your heart chakra. Breathe out through your base chakra. As you inhale, draw energy from Mother Earth. And as you exhale, emit energy into the ethers around you. And just pause for a moment. this place, Avebury, the Great White Brotherhood, have gathered with the Syrian Masters of Light. Their ships of light are above you. There are now two million, I think, <laughs> two million or 2,222 rays of energy pulsating through the ethers, connecting with the energies of your physical body creating a very powerful shift of energy through your spinal column and into your pineal and pituitary glands. The purpose of these rays of energy is to increase the rate at which your pineal and pituitary glands are able to take in the light, the quotients of light extending into the realms. Oh, oh beautiful. The light you'll admit from your being. Imagine now, with the dome of light, the great masters created around Avery and receiving these pulsations and everybody present in Avery at this time will receive the benefits of these 2,222 rays of light. Surrender to the presence of what is brought to you and simply allow the body to absorb the energies in a divinely perfect way. Take a moment now, straighten your spine. That's it. And your shoulders, pull them back slightly which openings your, open your heart. Yeah, that's right. Then raise your chin a little, which opening your throat chakra, and soak up the rays of light, the great white brotherhood present to you now. There we are, just, just pause a little.
of light that we made at this place where it was first created. You will remember the purpose beyond the purpose for Avery being where it is and each of you will serve as keys to the awakening of divine light and the complete dismantling of the matrix holding the abuse of power by the minority who believe it is their right. It is now the right of the light to take its rightful place within the core of humanity consciousness and create that from that purpose. May your life always be filled with divine blessings knowing that you are of divine, rep representing the divine I am Guinevere, Lady of Camelot, and I bid you well. I am Kathumi, and I return at this point, beloved ones. Please keep your eyes closed as we facilitate the complete anchoring of the energy through the spiral of the vortex, creating ensuring that your energies are in proper alignment with all of that which has been brought to you today. Just take a deep breath in through your nose, exhaling through your nose, and drawing your consciousness down your spine, anchoring it on the earth. Continue to breathe. Bringing all your energy back into your body, still connecting to the divine that has been presented to you today. All the grand beings of light and love and truth and divinity will remain at this place for the next 77 hours, anchoring the energies that you as human beings have chosen. Ah, beautiful. Now just place the palms of your hands on the earth if, when you can, giving thanks to Mother Earth for holding you, for blessing you and her love, for blessing her with your love, for blessing you with your life force, and blessings with your life force. And I thank you. Oh, and we'll t just place now, take a deep breath in once more. Bring the palm chakras to your heart and as you exhale, give thanks to yourself. Thanks to all those representing and embodying the light who stand with their light bodies, witnessing the divine ceremony of light taking place. So once more, we thank you all, beloved ones, for your presence today. When you're ready now, just open your eyes, acknowledging where you are physically and in the timeline you're in. Take a moment, just take a look around at nature, all that are here, and be blessed always. Namaste. Thank you so much. Bless you. <clears throat>